Hi, this is Peter here, the Clairvoyant, and I'm looking at star sign for Sagittarians here for the month of September 2017. And this is your uh, astrology card here in the tarot, the Temperance card. And I just get the feeling uh, for you Sagittarians now, it's like I feel like you've got to start speaking your mind a little bit. It's almost like I feel like you've got things to say. And I kind of feel like, I, I, I almost feel like I said this in August. I'm not sure if I did, I'll have to go and look back at the video myself. But I'm sure it did, in a perhaps slightly different way I'm saying it now. But I feel like you haven't done it. That there's still things that feels like you haven't done. It's almost like I feel like I'm pulling them off. And and I just feel like you just need to be direct and be firm with what you feel like you've got to say. But don't shy away from it. You haven't got to be nasty. You haven't got to be awkward. But you've just got to say exactly what you feel like you say. Because it's almost like there's a bit of a lack of communication with family. So I just feel as though these things still need sorting out a little bit. Or you maybe have started it, but you've got a bit more of a way to go. But I'm also getting the sense though with it all as well, that this is going to start naturally kind of building up as well around your Sagittarius, where you should find family ties getting a lot easier and better as time goes by. So I feel as though this is quite interesting. But I feel like, you know, you, you've still got things to sort out now and not shy away from. And I feel like career is getting a little bit more motivated for you. And I can see you're starting to sort things out a little bit. So here, you're quitting through the crap a little bit, tidying things up, and you're definitely trying to push things forward. So it's like it just feels like the, the first week of September, it's like you're in this kind of limbo period where nothing's quite going according to plan, but you're kind of getting there. And it just feels like you just got to keep pushing things forward. Because it's like I feel like you're on the verge of success, to be honest. And you, you've got your chariot here. So this is saying, look, keep pushing forward. Don't give up. So whatever it is you're wanting in life, now whatever it is you want to succeed, keep keep pushing, keep being the driving force. And I feel so as long as you do that, you'll succeed and you'll get what you want out of life. So I just get the feeling either for the last seven days, seven weeks, seven months, or even seven years, I feel as though you've been a bit sort of stuck. But all of a sudden I feel like I'm getting past that now, and I feel like things should start coming together quite nicely for you. So I just feel as though you're coming into your own Sagittarians, and I feel as though just embrace everything now. And I feel as though as you start to do that, you'll get where you need to be. Um, I just feel so like keep an eye on your arms or your shoulders aching a little bit with your health and and I just feel so some of you can be thinking about learning to drive and I feel so like that's really good for you because that will get you where you need to be a little bit and help you to sort of branch out a little bit further with your life so I just feel so like that's really good so just don't shy away from anything so there's, there's not a really a great lot I feel so I've got to say for you that's really uh, September for Sagittarians. I feel so it's kind of tidying up from what I said from last month and it's kind of feeding through into this month. It's almost like I feel so it's on a bit of a journey. You're kind of getting where you need to be. But I just feel so, you know, it, it's it's all right. It's it's not a bad month. It's definitely not. But I just feel so it's in limbo. But when I see limbo, I always look at it, it's neither good nor bad. You're in the middle. So it's just about keeping pushing things forward and that hence is your chariot is coming out very strong here. You've got to keep pushing forward whatever it is you want. Okay. And and I just feel so for some reason I'm being drawn to spirit with you. It's almost like I feel like there's loved ones in the spirit that I feel so I won't reach out to you. And it's like they're there to support you and guide you, but for some reason you're not listening. It's almost like you're a bit closed off to sometimes to a bit of spiritualism. It's not that I feel that like you don't believe in things, but I just feel that like you like to feel it before you see it and feel it. In other words, you've got to you've got to feel that connection before you believe in it, which I can understand. But you have got this healing ability within you, and I feel so like sometimes you don't realise how you can connect with the other side. And I just feel as though you might not be psychic, you might not be intuitive, but you definitely can feel spirits. So I feel so, you know, sit there in the quietness and draw to your loved ones. I feel so they will come through. And and I just feel so, 
I'm being drawn to um, a lady here, but I just feel as though it was almost like I feel as though this lady, it was like I feel as though she was mother and father all in one. And I feel as though she brought three lovely children up on her own. Well, I say on her own, I feel as though she was either sort of separated at an early age in the marriage or, or a, a partner passed away. I'm not sure which it is, but I just feel as though she brought these three children up on her own. And I feel as though it was difficult. And, and, I, and I sort of draw to the outdoors a lot with this lady. And I can see her sort of getting outside and cleaning the doorstep and the windows and everything would be done and walking these three children to school. And I feel like these three children were very close to similar ages. There would, there would probably be about a year's difference between them all. But it just feels though, you know, I, I feel this lady had a difficult life. And, and I just feel so, as the children got older, she started to wane with her energy a little bit. And, and I feel so this lady, um, I feel like she, she passed away with something to do with cancer of the stomach. And I feel like I've been drawn to bowel cancer. And, and I just feel so, oh, it wasn't very nice at all. So I don't know if any of you Sagittarians can take any of that at all. I haven't got a name. But uh, I just feel as though I just sense sense it, and I feel that this lady wants to give me the name George. Uh, whether this was a partner or or one of the children, I'm not sure. But I ju I just sense this energy. But for some reason, this lady she's a bit frustrated with the person she's trying to connect with through me, and and I just feel as though she feels that you know you've not been doing what you should have been doing with your lives and she just feels though she's she's trying to sort of get you there but she's she's not quite reaching you it's like you're not being open to it so i don't know if that makes sense i don't know but for some reason I, i've not done this before but i felt like i've got a message to pass on to somebody and um, so i don't know if you could take any of that it's little bits that i've got here and i feel that this lady liked a memorabilia with the royal family as well very sort of um you know into the 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 royalty and and i just feel so lovely and lovely lady but sure she did have a hard life it wasn't easy but didn't face it so i don't know if you can take that or not but if not it's there for somebody right so this is peter the clairvoyant and i uh, hope you sort of understand much of that and if not maybe you could have an in-depth reading with me on 0758 384 6626. Okay, thank you.